talk about that you know but I you know but I was there with Jesse I'm the one who called 911 I'm the one who took him to the hospital and it was so scary man that was a scary night it was scary I, I, you know my, my stomach was numb but I'm glad I'm the old man that was at his apartment when he got there and and I was responsible you know I said let's call the cops let's go to the hospital and shout out to the Chicago police, especially the sergeant who came and got things together and made us feel comfortable about everything. And shout out to Jesse and his family. You know, I was at the show uh, in, in oh, LA. Los Angeles, how was yeah, that? It was magical, man. What do you think about the aftermath of everything, of just the story and, and some people not believing it? You know, I, I hope I don't get in trouble with what I'm getting ready to say. It is amazing to me how the white community really supports the LGBTQ community. But it's amazing how some black families would rather their son be a murderer than to be gay. You know, and so I just think that, I, I, I hope that my community, the black community, understands that it's people's business what their sexuality is. And it's something that I just hope one day the black community, the, 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 the brown community, we can wake up and support our young brothers and sisters that are gay. That's really what I know, and, and, I, and the hateration is just unbelievable, you know. And, and Jesse's a strong guy, you know, a very strong guy. And, I, and I, I've worked with him now for four years as his creative director. And, uh, and I was in Chicago to do this new music video called Don't Go With Him. And I'm the one who picked him at the, at the airport. And I feel so selfish that I didn't walk with him that night. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, never miss a video.